We're taking a deeper look into the inspection records of the Molly Kathleen gold mine tour in Cripple Creek. It's been just over a week since a tour guide was killed and nearly two dozen people were trapped at the bottom of the mine after an elevator malfunction. I obtained state inspection records for the tourist attraction going back to the 80s. The records show another instance the state ordered the mine to close down for safety reasons. This is the moment the last of nearly two dozen tourists were brought to safety after they were stranded for seven hours at the bottom of the Molly Kathleen gold mine last week. What was meant to be a family friendly tour showing off the mine's history turned into a mass response from first responders. The Teller County Sheriff's Office says a 46 year old tour guide was killed after a malfunction with the mine's elevator as it was making the thousand foot descent. Um, currently, we don't know exactly what happened at 500 feet to cause this. That's something we're working through. As state investigators figure out what exactly happened during the tragic accident, News 5 sent a request for the mine's annual state inspection reports. The records we received go back to 1985. During annual inspections in the late 80s, the state often gave back a list of things needing immediate attention. Inspectors dinged the owners for exposed fuses, improperly stored flammable liquids, a lack of daily hoist brake checks, unsanitary toilets, missing ladder rungs, rock in the back of the mine and hoist men who were not certified to do their jobs. The Teller County Sheriff says an incident happened in 1986 where people were trapped in the elevator. These records show the state ordered the mine to shut down the next year until certain safety improvements were made. A 1988 report says new owners had taken over the mine and began the work to reopen it. It's unclear exactly when the mine reopened to tourists. We did not get back any annual inspection reports from the 90s. But our news partners at the Gazette found in 1994, the mine shaft elevator failed twice that summer. The Gazette says 13 visitors were trapped underground for 12 hours after a metal elevator pulley broke, causing a cable to slip off the wheel. The report says it happened again the next month, trapping 50 tourists for several hours. Reports from 2003 and on show state inspectors reminded the mine owners more than a dozen times to keep up with daily oxygen level readings and monthly fire extinguisher reports. But among those notes were ones like these. Mine looked good in 2015 and mine looks excellent as usual in 2021. The most recent annual inspection was on August 29th and no violations or hazards were found. After last week's emergency, the Teller County Sheriff called the current owner of the mine a hero as he and his family helped to repair the elevator to rescue tourists. To be completely honest, that owner um, actually rode with the inspectors to make sure that that mine or this elevator could go down safely. There was a lot of pressure on that family um, and without their help, we may not have been able to get people up out of there. State regulators ordered the owners of the Molly Kathleen mine tour to keep the attraction closed as investigators complete their review of the incident. The Colorado Division of Reclamation, Mining and Safety says it's trying to determine whether or not the death at the mine was the result of noncompliance or was strictly accidental.